What's up everybody, No is back here for my May collection update. This is all the Blu-rays, DVDs, and 4Ks that I got over the past month of May. I am not including the Shrek Blu-ray, and I'm not including the Nanny, just because I'm not. I, I did get those, so the Nanny and Shrek Blu-ray uh, digital code anthology film series is not in here. Uh, but I did get them this month. So, we have the DVDs. We have two 4Ks. Two Steelbooks. The non-new release Blu-rays. And these right here. As well as the new release Blu-rays. So, we're going to go with the 4Ks and Steelbooks first. Because I know a lot of people are 4K fans. I do not have 4K and then we are going to go right into the steel books. So we're going to start out with the outpost. This was sent to me for free by Scream Media. The last 4K uh, is leading into the steel books because this is also a steel book. This is the Fast and the Furious 20th Anniversary Blu-ray 4K Blu-ray Digital Code steel book. I don't usually get 4Ks, but I'm a weak man when it comes to Fast and Furious. I'm really looking forward to the new one, F9, later this month. So, I did pick that up at Walmart. Dirty Dancing, direct from Target. Thank you to Tony from Basement Blues. I am sending you the money this week for this man. Uh, Dirty Dancing, Blu-ray Steelbook. Best Buy did release a 4K Steelbook. I do not have 4K. Uh... Which totally makes sense why why I grabbed this. I I, I mean, um, when when you actually think about it, I'm going to get 4K at some point. But I like this steelbook better. I like this steelbook better. I do. Well, there we go. So there is the Target exclusive steelbook for that. And we also are going to go into the non-new release Blu-rays. So, I did an order for my friends Ashley and Scotty of Unpaid Movie Critic. Very awesome people. Me, me and Scotty talk every single day. Me and Ashley talk sometimes. I mean, hey, when, whenever you want to talk, I can talk. This is the... I want to make sure I grab them right. This is the Disney Movie Club Hall. They do not have Disney Movie Club... I think that they they were kind of afraid because if they get it, they may just buy, 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 buy. Instead of me getting it, since I'm a Disney Movie Insiders member, I get five free movies. So, th I I told them that, that I got it, and they asked me, could I grab them some stuff? And I said, yes, I could. Check out their video on that. So, I grabbed them some stuff, and I'm like, well, since I get five free titles... I'm just going to include this in the update. There was, then there was one little surprise. Uh, so we're going to go with the five movies for a dollar on Blu-ray. We had Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas and Mickey's Twice Upon a Christmas. The 2019 Aladdin. I really like this movie. Does it compare to the uh, original anime classic? By all means, no. But I mean, come on. It's a good movie. It's a good movie. Is it the best of the live action versions of the movies, I think so. I think it's better than The Lion King. I think it's way better than Mulan. Next up is Beauty and the Beast and the Enchanted Christmas. I remember watching that one growing up as a kid. This is probably my favorite Disney live action movie. This is George of the Jungle. I love this movie to death. It is a childhood favorite of mine. It's one of my all-time favorite movies. It is just a charming classic in my opinion this one is also a staple of my childhood i watch this at least three four times a year i love this movie so much it's a easy watch it's two hours and eight minutes might as well just pop it in and enjoy the fun this is the parent trap i enjoy this film a lot i've not seen the original all the way through i've seen clips and then this one that's it for the uh Five for a dollar movies. So I ordered them some stuff. And accidentally. <laughs> I ordered. 
two copies of one. And it didn't tell me I ordered two copies of one. It didn't say quantity two. It just said quantity one. So they charged me twice for this. And I think that was... I told Scotty that Walt was looking down upon me saying, you need the uh, uh, you need the one of the Pooh movies. So he started me out. This is Piglet's big movie. I enjoy Winnie the Pooh a lot, actually. I think it's a charming series. I think that Pooh is one of the greatest Disney characters of all time. I think it's just a charming series of movies. There, There's nothing really harsh about them. I really loved Christopher Robin and the, the movie Goodbye, Christopher Robin, with Margot Robbie and Domino Gleason is very good about how, how he came up with the Winnie the Pooh character and all his friends. Now into everything I got from Big Lots and the video game store as well as Amazon. So the video game store, we only have one. This is the Crude's A New Age. I did get this for $3. I did leave the sticker on it, $3. This did not come with the digital code. So I think someone bought the digital code and poached it, uh, which is fine because I have the digital code. So I just have the Blu-ray DVD here, and I'm fine with that for $3. Why not, really? Norbit got this from Big Lots. I really like that film a lot. Uh, this one I have not seen. This is up in the air. I've really been wanting to see this one, though. Looking forward to checking that one out. Failure to Launch, a very fun romantic comedy. I like this one a lot. Does it have the same feel of, like, How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days? Sort of. And it does have pretty much the same cover. But, I mean, I like that movie a lot. Next up is Charlotte's Web. This is a fun G-rated anime. It, well, I almost call it animated. CGI movie that is very well done. It's a short movie that is just so sweet. I remember watching this movie in theaters. And it's it has a sad ending. It has a sad ending. It is not a all happy sunshine and rainbows ending. If you know what happens... Great. If not, well then, have you been living under a rock and have you not read the book? But I mean, watch the movie. It's a sweet movie. Is it kitty? Yeah, in a way. But it's also one that families can just sit down and enjoy the story. Scooby-Doo and the Cyber Chase. Really, really good animated movie. I'm a big Scooby-Doo fan. I'm going to try and get the Scooby-Doo movies on Blu-ray. Uh, I do own Scooby-Doo... Uh, the one with Matthew Lillard, Freddie Prince Jr., Linda Carlini, and uh, and Sarah Michelle Gellar. So there are those Blu-rays. We're going to go into the one non-new release DVD. Well, two non-release DVDs, and then we're going into the new releases. Well, two of them aren't really new, but new releases. This is She's All That and Boys vs. Boys and girls. Boys and girls. There we go. I will be watching these very, very soon. Wedding at Graceland. I enjoy Christmas at Graceland. Not Christmas at Graceland 2. Uh, we have Crossword Mysteries 3 movie collection. This is new at Walmart for $12.96. I like these movies a lot. I did not like the fourth one. I really liked the fifth one, though. This was the first Hallmark movie of 2021, and it did get a DVD release. Very, very happy. The best ones are getting DVD releases. Well, most of the best ones are getting them. I'm waiting on a winter getaway to get one. I am waiting on them to announce something uh, like a 10-movie collection of Aurora Tea Garden. They just released a 6-movie collection, so maybe. But they did announce It Was Always You and Chasing Waterfalls, which I believe are the two best. I'm waiting on them to announce... Uh, Sweet Carolina, very, very soon, the new Lacey Chabert one. This is Alexa Penavega and Luke McFarland and Taking a Shot at Love. Really enjoy that one a lot. That is probably the fourth best Hallmark film of the year. Wild Mountain Time. This is a newer release. It's not a new, new release of for uh, for the month, but it's a 2021 DVD release, so m m might as well include it. Next up is Hunted, a Shutter original. This is fine. This is all about this this woman who's basically be, being hunted by by this guy. That's pretty much what it is. She's being hunted by by this guy who wants to rape and kill her. And 
it's it's a movie that has a lot of gore, a lot of violence. It kind of feels like revenge, but in a different sort 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 of way. Revenge was the the woman gets raped, and it is just one where you gotta shut your brain off because no way that someone goes through through a tree has has a sharp tree and go through them and is fine. And it's basically her revenge on the three guys that got her. It's a really enjoyable movie and it's violent as all heck. This one was not so good. I did not enjoy Sun hardly at all. I'm not a big fan of cult movies. I'm not a fan of the Devil's Children movies. Uh, and that's what this movie turned in, tur turned out to be. This th this kid gets sick, and the mother is basically just trying to figure out what's wrong with him. He's 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 convulsing. He's not well at all. And these people break into her house, which later turned out was people from the cult that she she was raised in. I didn't like that film all that much. I'm not a fan of cult or 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 satanic films. Not my my. My, my thing, thus why I'm probably not watching The Conjuring, The Devil Made Me Do It, but hey, uh, never say never, but as of right now, I don't plan on watching that. Next up is the newer releases for DVD. This is Long Weekend. This was a pretty sweet romance movie. I enjoyed this one a lot. This one, won, this one will be staying in the collection. I think it's well worth $15. I'm going to harken back to a 2020 film called I Met a Girl with a sort of feel to this one. And I think that Long Weekend, Long Weekend is the better film. Next up is the Joe McHale dark comedy. Happily, this is all, all about, well, first, this is all about uh, Bart, who's, who's down on his luck, no job, gets kicked out of his apartment complex because he can't, can't pay rent because he has no job. And he meets this girl named Vienna, who is there for one specific reason. And now he 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 and her are falling hard and falling fast for for each other. And it's just this fun romance story that turns out someone is not real. Happily is all about this group of people who who are sick and tired of Joe McHale and his wife after 14 years of marriage can't keep their hands off each other. Constantly making out and having sex. Uh, and everyone is is just tired of it. So them plus their friends are invited to this guy's house. And it turns in into this big uh, just drama. This dark comedy where secrets are, are revealed. People are not who they seem to be. And it's just a big dark comedy mixed with a bit of a... Revealing mystery. Now to the new... These are... No. Here we go. Here are the new release. Blu-rays right here. Uh, I'm going to stick these down here with the better movies. So there we go. There you go. We have the two... Uh, non new release Blu-rays that, that I got this past week. That's why they, they were in this stack. They should have been in this stack with Sco Scooby-Doo, Charlotte's Web, and Failure to Launch, but they weren't, and that was my mistake. We have Ted and Ted 2 Unrated. I do enjoy the Ted movies. I think they're very fun comedies. They are raunchy. They are just Seth MacFarlane to the max, and I love Seth MacFarlane. Uh, and I love Mark Wahlberg, hence why I'm looking forward to the new film on Paramount+, Plus. the whole reason I signed up for it, and also so I can finish Frasier. Uh, so that was new at Walmart. It was supposed to be $6.96. It was in the $6.96 section, and it had a $6.96 sticker below it with a ton of copies. It rang up $12.96, and I'm like, well, $12.96 for two movies on Blu-ray. The first one I really do like a lot. Why not? A Quiet Place. I will be checking out A Quiet Place in... Uh, Part 2 in theaters, hopefully tonight, looking forward to that one. I was supposed to see it Thursday, didn't happen. I was supposed to see it last night, and that did not happen because we had to go to Walmart, which is fine. I will see it in in, in theaters as well as Cruella, so can't wait. Uh, now to the new releases. We're going to start out with the Frank Grillo, Bruce Willis movie, Cosmic Sin. 
that's my review of that one. Uh, but if you want my in-depth review, I do have a review for all of these right here on my channel. Uh, next up is American Fighter, a fun action drama movie here, all about this guy named Ali, a college wrestler who's who's wanting money, desperate for cash, and learns to become a fighter. Chaos Walking, really, really good movie. I really enjoyed this one. I know a lot of people didn't. I know that a lot of critics did not like this one, and I completely get why. I'm not going to 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 defend this movie in any way. Is there a lot of character development, and do we get to feel for the characters a whole lot? No. But I really liked the story in this one, and I really liked the action in this. This is all about uh, Todd Hewitt, who who uh, who lives on 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 this mysterious planet, and and this mystery girl crash lands named Viola, played by Daisy Ridley. And all the men, and it's all men on this planet. He's he's never seen a girl before, so now he uh, is trying to not have feelings for her, but also get her back home. But these men have 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 this thing called the noise, and whatever they 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 are thinking is brought out and cast to the world, so everyone hears their thoughts. There's a few very funny moments in here, but it's not a complete knockout with the comedy. A really good action film that I'm going to watch again probably later this year. The next up is the new uh, three. Three new Lionsgate films. This is Vanquish. This is all about Ruby Rose, who uh, is is named Victoria, and she is a mother, and she's, she's sent on, on, on this mission... Uh, basically, she she want, wants to leave her her drug drug lord courier career behind her, but retired cop named Damon, played by Morgan Freeman, Morgan Freeman, uh, has her do her bedding by by having uh, him hold hold her daughter hostage before. Uh, they they come after him because. It, he knows that he's probably going to die. Next up is the Virtuoso. I'm sorry if you heard my stomach growl. I'm hungry. I'm having breakfast right after this. The Virtuoso is a pretty fun mystery film. Uh, Anson Mount, Abby Cornish, and Anthony Hopkins. Anthony Hopkins was the main draw for this one for me. And he's not in it all that much, which I saw coming. This is all about this this professional assassin who sent on on this new mission, uh, and and he meets this new alluring woman played by Abby Cornish, uh, and he basically has has to look for uh this. He basically has several targets, and and his boss is played by Anthony Hopkins, so he is being told where to go and who to find. Really enjoyable movie. I think this is not the best Lionsgate film. I think this is the best Lionsgate film of the month of May that came to Blu-ray anyways. This is above suspicion. This is all about the true story of uh, of of, Su of Susan Smith who wants to escape her, her seedy life of crime and drugs. Uh, and her her brother kills somebody. And robs banks, so she makes a deal with this cop, played by uh, Jack, Jack Houston, and now they start a relationship together. But she's still living with her ex-husband, played by Johnny Knoxville, and it's this big mystery thr thriller crime mixed of mixed with a little bit of romance. I enjoyed this one a lot. I think that this is a really good film, really solid. To a film that is not well when you watch it as a critic. To a film that's not well as a critic, but as a fan of Tom and Jerry, sorry, of Tom and Jerry, definitely check it out. If you're looking for just a fun anime film to watch with your kids and you don't gotta stay stay in the room with them, there's really nothing awful about this movie. Just sitting there watching it. But but when you are reviewing it, by God it's awful. This is Tom and Jerry the movie. Enough said. I do have a full-on critic review of this, 
but my audience, just normal audience watching it as a fun film, it's it's okay. Now on to four really great movies. These rank within the best films that I've seen in the past six months. And I am not kidding. This is Raya and the Last Dragon. If this does not win Best Animated Feature at the Academy Awards next year, I will be very, very surprised. This is the best Disney animated movie that I've seen in a long time. It's better than Soul. I believe it's better than Onward. I, I believe it's better than all the Cars movies. I think this might be the best one. And I think that this is probably better than Toy Story 4. I know that's probably blasphemous. And we do have Luca coming up. And we we do have uh, Luca. We have a bunch of other animated films coming out this year. But Raya and the Last Dragon might be the best animated movie that I, I saw all throughout. From this year all the way through all of 2020. Next up is right now my favorite film of the year. This is Judas and the Black Messiah. Really good film here. I have a full-on review of this one, as I do Raya and the Last Dragon and Tom and Jerry. And all of these new releases, actually, all of these new releases. Judas and the Black Messiah should have won a lot more Oscars, but I'm really glad that it won what it did. And I was really happy to see Lakeith Stanfield get his nomination for Best Supporting Actor. And Danny Kaluuya get his well-deserved win. I loved him uh, in Get Out, and I'm glad to see him get his Oscar for Judas and the Black Messiah, sir, you're going to get a lot more, guarantee you. Now to the two best films that I watched all this month. Two Best Picture nominees that I was expecting to really love, and I loved them both. And I love them both equally. This is The Father with Anthony Hopkins and Olivia Coleman. All about this old man going through dementia going through dementia, and you go go through it with him. So if he sees somebody different who's supposed to be his daughter, you are living through him. So if if he doesn't see Olivia Coleman, you don't see Olivia Coleman. You see who he sees, and you are feeling what he feels. This is a really sad film. It's a really great film, though. And Anthony Hopkins deserved the Best Actor nomination and win. I would have loved to have seen Chadwick Boseman win because he won all through him except at, at the Baptist. Well-deserved Anthony Hopkins. And for the people who were pissed off, they didn't go to the show. He's an old man. Let him go. He's an old man. He's a legend. Just leave him be. And finally, we have Minari. Great movie here. All about this, this, this Korean-American family who basically just wants to start a new life, and uh, they want to start this this farm, and Grandma comes to live with them, and it's basically about this this mother and father who are not having the best time getting along. Uh, the the son and and Grandma have not met yet, and he's not happy because she doesn't do grand grandmothery things like bake cookies and and not cuss. There you go, everybody. There is the complete May Blu-ray DVD 4K update. I will see all of you guys tomorrow for my new shopping video and a couple unboxing videos as well as a review video. So I will see all of you guys next time.